so I thought I'd do a little pack with me video today. I'm going to be going off to Singapore for a few days and then on to my new home, Hong Kong. So it's very, very exciting. So I'm trying out my new vlogging camera here as well. I thought I would see how it works with a tripod because I made like loads of videos and everything for you guys when I was in Rhodes like start of July and I was so excited and like then I went to edit them and my camera just like murdered it. So I actually couldn't use the footage in the end. Which was so frustrating. So I'm going to put up a little bit like some blog posts about that. But I couldn't like make a proper video which is what I really wanted. So hopefully now with the new camera I can actually vlog Singapore for you. So I've just got my carry-on luggage here. And I've already packed my big suitcase. So this is going to be my sort of essentials and also my like electronics and gadgets. Because I don't really want those to be in my suitcase because they would end up a bit smashed. So I'm going to start with my laptop, it's so heavy. So this is actually a mat cover, which is why it's a bit small, but it's like really good and like padded. I think I got this from Tiger actually, but it's quite cute as well. So that is definitely going to have to go in the bottom. Normally I just kind of chuck everything in, but I'm trying to be good today and like actually strategically pack. Next, not very exciting, but I have a book of Mandarin. I'm going to be doing Mandarin courses while I'm over in Hong Kong. So I have a little bit of practice. I've got six hours in the airport in Heathrow before I catch my flight tomorrow because I'm leaving tomorrow. It's so exciting. But uh, so I'm gonna do a bit of wander around the duty free and things, but I thought I would bring something to do and I'd be good and actually do some practice. Um, but yeah, I'm also gonna have a bit of a wander around because they also got a massage place, which I'm quite excited about. So, in case they don't have anything exciting, I have got three books. So, while they're manga, I've got a black butler. And then I've got a couple of Tokyo Ghoul ones. Well, actually, I'm holding these upside down. I love that artwork on Tokyo Ghoul ones. Right. So next in my essentials, my umbrella. So I got this actually on offer, which was rather nice. It has a Fraser, and this is by Totes, and it's like folds up so tiny. I'm just gonna stick that in because I don't know about Singapore, but like my like welcoming information I got for going to Hong Kong basically said bring your like passport, your visa and an umbrella so I have that ready in my carry-on luggage should I arrive and it's absolutely pouring it down so next I'm just gonna fill this cute little clinic bag here I really like this one, this is actually quite a good size as well and I'm just gonna put my liquids in here which will need to go in a little plastic bag when I get to the airport and like even though it's a plastic bag, it's not the biggest, like different airports I think do sometimes enforce different sizes but like I took my like little bag before and I was like, so prepared and everything and then confiscated like half of my stuff because my bag was like over the limit. It was very sad. I'm still sad. I lost an unopened hand cream. So I am going to start with a few baby bits and pieces because I am staying with a relative while I'm in Singapore for a few days. So I didn't kind of need to be too fussy about what I packed in my carry-on because these are the only things I'm going to reach for while I'm in Singapore. But I just wanted to have these on hand. So, not very exciting, but deodorant, very important, especially because how hot it's going to be. I'm literally going to melt. So I just got a little duff one there. Then I have, very, very important, my No Super Mineral Powder. And who is this one by, actually? That's really bad, I can't remember. That's so bad, I can't actually remember. What's this? I think this is Innisfree. Actually, it's on the puff. Okay, this is in as free. I should remember that I did this in a haul a little while ago. And this is just a cute little one. It's got like a loose powder there. It comes with a little puff, which is really useful for traveling. Because I am gonna bring a couple of brushes and things, but like just having the puff there makes it so convenient. And like I normally keep this sort of thing in my bag and I'll carry this around with me because I have very oily skin, so sometimes I just wanna like, touch up my face. So next I've got my volume million lashes L'Oreal Feline Mascara. I do like the scar I've got it on today actually, I've kind of not really got much makeup on today because I've packed most of it in my big bag because I'm going to keep a very light, no foundation look while I'm in Singapore because of the heat. This is like, this is a good mascara, like it makes your eyelashes look huge, like I think it does, I love my eyelashes like this, but um, it does clump quite a lot, but you can't really see too well with the glasses on actually, I could be bothered to put contact in today. But yeah, like if you want big eyes, this is good, but it almost kind of works better if you use as a second mascara and you've got like a finer one to separate the lashes out first and then you put this over the top. But I've just checked this in because 
I like to just do a big eye look, especially when I haven't got much makeup on. So like you can just draw all the focus to the eyes. So the rest of the stuff I'm going to be putting in here now, this is sort of for getting off the plane kind of thing or like on the plane essentials. So when I'm on the plane, my skin gets very, very dry. And also like anytime I go traveling, my skin gets super sensitive and it gets like irritated by literally anything. So I just strip down my skincare routine and my makeup and everything to like absolute bare essentials. So I've got with me a Eco Face Rose Hip CO2 Serum. And this is just a little oil serum. And like, even though you've got oily skin, oils are so good for the skin, especially just to help like balance it and everything. So because my skin gets so dried out on the planes, I've just bought a little bit of this. So I'm going to put a little bit of this like whenever I feel like my face needs it on the journey. Okay, I've also brought some little eye drops here. These are just blink and these are intensive soothing ones. And I have this normally for my contact lenses, but I do get quite dry eyes naturally. So I'm only wearing my glasses on the plane because I don't really like wearing contacts on the plane because of how dry it is. Uh, it is an overnight plane I'm going on, but I don't usually sleep very well on the plane, so I'm probably just going to watch films. And then I'm going to be staring at a screen, I just put these little drops in, just to give my eyes a bit of a help. So on the topic of eyes, I also have my usual Tweezerman eyelash colours. These are actually getting a bit worn now, so I might pick up another pair of these in Singapore. I'm in Singapore for, like, for two full days and an evening. So I'm going to probably do like a day of sort of shopping and then a day of sights, which I know isn't really long enough. But it's kind of how long I can stop over there for, so I'll try and get as much done as possible. But I'm leaving on the 21st, and I have to be at the airport at like 3 in the morning. But it was like the only, only flight for some reason that like I could get that like, booked together. So my flight doesn't leave till about 6, but I have to be at the airport ahead. So I think I'm just going to like find somewhere to sit with a coffee and crash for 3 hours, because I'm going to be so dead. So I also have a couple of contact lenses. Just because if I do decide to wear sunglasses, uh, which I've just got a pair here, which I'm actually going to try in my case. These are non-prescription ones, so I don't actually have any prescription sunglasses. Mostly because I'm very unorganised and didn't get around to sorting it out. So I have to put contact lenses in if I want to wear sunglasses. And obviously if it's really bright and sunny, which I'm expecting it to be in Singapore and in Hong Kong. Uh, at least when it isn't raining. Uh, then I'm gonna be wanting to wear sunglasses to protect my eyes. I also have like the most important thing which is my sun cream. And this is a Lancaster one and this is SPF 50 PA Triple Plus so this is like a great multi-spectrum one. But it's I've never had anything by this brand before and I just found them in TK Maxx but it's got a lovely like light consistency. It works a lot better if you put this on like kind of quite quickly after a moisturizer. Like if you do that, it just sinks in and this like, even if you don't, this leaves like no white cast. So I like really, really like this for my face. Um, I've got a bigger body sun cream as well in my main suitcase, which I will obviously be wearing as well. So I have a couple of lip balms again because of the dry air on the plane. These are just a couple of my uh, Omi watering lip ones. I've got apple sherbet and Umina soft cream is like two of my favorites. Uh, and if you've seen any of my videos before, these do pop up quite a lot because they are like the best lip balms ever. So I love these. So I am, as I said before, I'm not wearing much makeup. So I've just got here my collection, Lasting Perfection Concealer. And this is just in the shade One Fair. And I take this with me, well I take it with me everywhere really. But this is just for touching up a little bit. Like I've got a few spots up, but my skin's not looking too bad. But I imagine within the first couple of days, I'm probably going to have quite a lot of breakouts and things just because my skin, particularly when I'm going to a hotter place, like has a lot, a lot of problems. Like it really doesn't like when I go traveling. Concealer is going to be an absolute essential. So I've got a couple of brushes to go with my concealer. And just a little, very useful mini sample. This is the um, Yves Saint Laurent. I can't remember exactly which one it is. It's just like a dewy foundation. And it's got this little bottle. It's actually like more than you think in this. But it's just quite useful because if I do have, I'm going out for dinner or like the next few days I'm in Singapore or if I just do have really, really bad breakouts and I want to take some photographs, this is quite good coverage, even though it's a dewy foundation. Sorry, this is such a tiny bottle. Um, I'll find out which foundation this is actually and like put it on the screen or in the captions or something in case you guys are interested. But this is their new dewy one. They've actually got a really nice looking cushion foundation. It's a bit too heavy 
like i prefer more dewy foundations rather than full coverage ones but like i really really love the design but it's also so expensive and there's an eyebrow pencil here it has got a little coloring bit to fill in if you want but i'm mostly just going to use this for the spoolie just to knead on my eyebrows because as i already have pretty like thick dark eyebrows anyway um though i do usually film in a little bit like i'm not really fast if i don't film in very much i've just got a little uh eau de parfum uh miss dior this is like one of these little mini ones and i always keep a few of these just aside for when i'm traveling then so this is quite a nice smell it's like this is a new one i think and it's kind of a very sweet smell but i just like to have a little one just to top a bit of perfume and again with the sample i've just got a little one i got this from yester actually uh and this is just a windproof moisture cream so again if i want something a bit lighter than the oil serum i brought then i would probably just put this on my face i might do it as like a mid-flight little not really a treatment but just to give my skin a little bit of a boost because it will really dry out and then last thing is another little perfumey thing this is a little chloe one and you can wear this as a necklace if you want to but i'm bringing it because if i can get it open there we go it's like a little solid perfume so obviously because of the liquid restrictions it's kind of hard to bring like a big bottle of perfume so this is just one of these ones where you just take it and like put it on like your wrists or somewhere and it just kind of helps give you a nice smell like this isn't strong it just kind of got a nice sort of fresh smell to it that is now going in okay cotton pads because never go anywhere without my cotton pads and i've got like the large ones i think they're for the baby section actually because they're usually cheaper in the baby section then i just got a little set of pajamas i picked these up in pre-market today actually so it's where they still got labels on but they're these really cute little harry potter ones and they're like this really nice light material so it comes with like a little shirt and then there's a matching pair of shorts there as well so i've been like trying to stock up on like pajamas like i've had to do so much clothes shopping recently to try and find clothes for hong kong and also for singapore that's like suitable for the hot weather because i would literally live in jeans and a jumper if i could i'm looking pretty full already pass very important it's got my travel documents on this side but i'm going to keep them out here for the minute actually i might just tuck them so I've got just travel and visa documents here. So I'm just gonna tuck some very unattractive passport pictures. I'm definitely not going to zoom in on those ones. I've had a lot worse though, to be fair. And then, probably actually more important than the sun cream I said earlier, passport. Cannot forget the passport. And yes, I did once forget my passport on a plane but the little tip if you didn't know on domestic flights if you forget your passport you can use a driving license if you're in the uk that is for any don't know about the rest of the world for that one but yeah so before you like cry and go to the airport or anything check if you've got a driving license because yeah i managed to forget that once it wasn't fun so yeah passport in there so essentials for every flight lollies so i have a bunch of lollies here because I don't know about you guys, but like I always get with air pressure when like taking off, landing. But also sometimes just in the middle of the flight, like particularly if we're like changing like the heights and stuff, I get quite a lot of like pressure in my ears. And if I've got like a lollipop or just, you know like a sucky sweet, then I don't get that pressure build up in the ears. But I've just got a few sheet masks here because I'm probably going to use these Singapore maybe first day of Hong Kong, depending on how my skin's feeling. So I got a little hyaluronic acid one. Uh, this is from the cream shop and I've tried this before. I have like a pack of these so I've used about three out of five of these now I think. So this is just a really nice hydrating one. And then there's the Beijing Opera Waterfall Mask. These are one of my all time favourite sheet masks. And they have a couple of different ones in this range that I've tried. And like I just, these are one of the best hydrating sheet masks I think that you can get. And then I've got the Cure SOS Bamboo Water Short Mask. So this is supposed to be hydrating. I'm taking this along to try. I've had a few bad experiences with sheet masks from the Cure before. But I'm going to give this one a go uh, and give the Cure a second try for the sheet masks. Because sometimes I've tried a sheet mask from a brand and I thought, Oh, I don't really know if I want to try any other sheet masks by that brand. And then I've tried another couple and actually 
I just happen to have an off one. So I'm hoping that's the case here and also it's a panda. I just could not resist having a panda sheet mask. So the only thing that actually comes out as a panda. Can't forget, hairbrush. I've just got my tangle teaser here. So that is everything. I hope you guys like this. It's a bit different to usual, but I kind of wanted to do just like a sort of a chatty kind of pack with me video. Uh, and finally live up to the travel part of the name on my channel. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing quite a lot of traveling in this next year. So uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling sort of around East Asia. So I'm gonna be going around sort of mainland China and I'm gonna be South Korea and Japan as well. I'm so, so excited about all of those, but especially Japan. Cause I've wanted to go to Japan for years and years. So I'm gonna go to Tokyo and I'm gonna go to Kyoto as well. And then maybe kind of down to Osaka or like up to Hokkaido. So I don't really know yet. But I'm just so excited for this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and as always, if you did, please do hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And I will see you guys soon for the start of my trip to Singapore.